Davidson's All Natural Gem. Welcome back for another video. Red oak log, 16 foot red oak log up here and we're gonna get some two buys. Two by 12 out of it for the customer. And I'm finally gonna film me doing a customer's job, I, which I very rarely film. I always just film me doing all my junk logs, trying to get what I can out of a rotten log. And, and now I'm gonna finally do a customer's order, if these swallows will let me. I'm gonna center this core, uh, because that end is so much smaller than this end, and because of because I want the high quality lumber out of this. I want a two by 12 out of here, all the way down. I don't want it out of here, you know? I don't want it tapered off at that end or tapered off at this end. I want the grain, same grain down here as I'm getting down there. Makes it stronger, better, higher quality lumber than if I just went with the top of this log and raised that up to where it was the top of the log. And it is off by maybe a quarter of an inch right there. But this is heavy enough for me right here. I don't. I don't need any. I don't need any uh, heavier than that. <laughs> and I don't. Definitely don't need to uh, handle any firewood that's bigger than that. Okay. So here's my second cap cut, and I flipped it 180 degrees, which is not normal for me. It's normal for a lot of people in any sawmill, and it's just fine. It's just not normal for me. Still got a lot to give me my 12 inch. I got a lot both ways to give me my 12 inch. So I'm still good, I'm not worried about that yet. I'm gonna take one more cut off this cap so I can get my four inch wide down there. Getting I'm getting a ton of chatter out of this blade. It's probably about to break. Um I would guess. That would be my guess. I still got a lot some rot here on the out not rot, but I still got a rotten knot here on the outside. Rotten knot up there on the outside. I got uh, this side's good. So I'm still not yet worried about getting my 12 inch, two by 12s out of this. I'm still good with that. We're gonna take the flitch off side number four. Take the cap cut off side number four.
Whoa. That was a doozy. That felt like my mail slipped off something there, didn't it? All right, so let's take out this cap cut. What is the matter with you? We've got two crafter specials. Yay! How exciting. So did you hear that? Did you hear that blade getting dull? Um, it slowed down in here really what really bad. Can I make another cut with it? Yeah, it it's I can almost guarantee there's no wave in there. There might be. But I don't think there's any wave in that log. I don't think the blade is dull. I think the blade is getting dull. And I think I'm going to go sharpen it. And when I go sharpen it, before it goes dull, number one, I have a higher quality lumber. And number two, I can sharpen it 11 times instead of five or four. I can sharpen it 13 times instead of five or four. All right, like and subscribe. I'll be right back. We'll, I'll go stack up these crafter specials, change that blade. I'll, we'll come back and make sure that's not a baby. I'm, Almost positive it's not. And then we'll put these in the firewood uh, stack. And I'll be right back to get our 2x12 for an order out of that lumber. We got our camp. We ate our lunch. And we've changed blades. And I've got a brand new, very rare thing again. A brand new blade on. 10 degree, double hard. Um, so I'm going to take a little skim cut off the top of this just to level it, make sure it's leveled out again. Make sure that other blade wasn't wavy or anything like that. And I've got, you know, 11 inches across here. I don't have my 12 that I need for this, but I'll have my six. I can get my six right off the top of this. So I'll go down a quarter of an inch, take a cap cut, and then I'll go down two inches to get my, so I'll be down to here. I'll have this much weight on the next board, but it'll still be 12. It'll be close to 16 and then a little bit of weight on it. So I'll be able to get my two by 12 out of that. That'll take me down four and a quarter inches. So that'll take me down to here. And there's my little leveling cut and it wasn't too bad it doesn't look like it waved at all and it doesn't look like it had any stress in it at all while i was eating lunch for a half hour okay hour okay hour and a half all right two hours so i took a two hour lunch break so what uh, you can't prove it <laughs>
And there's your two by six. And that's a big two by six. And now we've got 12 inches, 12 solid inches all the way across here. No uh, um, holes in these knots or anything. There's one little bitty cut out in that knot, and that'll be fine. There's a two by 12. And that is still nice lumber in there and I'll get another two by 12 right out of here. So I think I ran into some pocket right about here. Looks like a, probably a hollow pocket. Got some dirty sawdust out of there. So here's hoping. Here's hoping I can move it. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's still good wood. Still good lumber. Just the heart was a little black and that's why I was running into that. Uh, Wood. I didn't hit the hit the pit, but it's close. And uh, oh shit, put that one on the ground. But yeah, that's still good lump, way good lumber in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, another two by twelve. Out of this. So, oh yeah, she's got some bad stress in her, which is still okay for the way we're cutting it. But you see that right there? How it came up off that, and that one's on. So we'll take a uh, little leveling cut off this. Should get a fat chunk at this end, and then that. That end will be skinny or nothing. We'll get us another two by six with a big hollow spot. And we'll go down until we get rid of this hollow spot here. Two inches and or until we get rid of that hollow spot right there. But it's still a good two by four out of that or two by eight that's 10 foot long, not 16. So it's still good wood. You just got to remove that nut. And your big sawmill isn't going to take time to do that, but I can. And the reason I can do that, the reason I can do that is because I can take a two hour lunch. So now we've got a flat surface. Since this is, we just took this off here, the top. This next board will be two inches. 
And the next one will be two inches. This one here on the bottom will not be two inches right down here because it's off this. So I'll flip it again, put this flat side on it, then I'll do a leveling cut. I won't take anything off this end, but I'll take off the rest of the board and hopefully I can get another two inch down to two inch there. Does that make sense? And, and that's just cutting the, uh, letting the board relax and cutting the stress out of it. So we got one more two by in there, one more true two by in there, and the other one will be a trash. It'll the other one will be the heart also, because the heart of this, the pith of this, is right down here, at the bottom half of this one. So when I flip this over, the pith will be at the top, and I'll take the bottom board and save the bottom board as a as a two inch board. But right here's the three that I'm after: two by twelve, two by twelve, or two by six here two by 12 here i think i've got 16 15 16 i've got 18. uh 12 and 6 that'd be a two by six right in there maybe i won't even have to cut this one for two by six if i can squeeze a good one out of that one i don't think i need to set this up um on the mill and show you how i get my two by 12s right you know how to get a two by 12 you put that up stand it up and cut a two by 12. but that's me filming in order and I don't usually do it but I should have had this if I wasn't filming I'd have had this done by 8 o'clock this morning got out of here at 7 and I had it done by 8 but this order is complete and filmed get looking forward to going live with um, the old jarhead and two brothers outdoors and Wilson Forrest going live with those guys to explain a little bit about to ask any questions that you have and explain a little bit about maybe uh, marketing, pricing lumber, getting started into business, advertising, marketing. And any other questions that you have live, go back and take a look at the live. Probably now when you go back and look at it, it'll be like two weeks ago. Like, subscribe, we'll probably do some more boring ass red oak. I got a thousand board feet of that to cut. I need some more pine four by fours. And probably by then I'll need some more stickers. And there's my alarm. That means it's time to go. That means I'm late for the wife. So like, subscribe, we'll do it again.